This is going to be a different sort of video from what I usually record because we're going to do almost no coding in this video. Instead, what I'm going to show you is how to get data from a website into MATLAB. So let's go to that website. And I'm on GitHub, which is one of the most standard places to find data or to find sample computer code, programming code. But within GitHub, I've just chosen kind of a random page. And the reason I chose this one is it's, as far as I can tell, unofficially related to a textbook I recommend called An Introduction to Statistical Learning. And that textbook comes with a lot of different sample data. And this GitHub page includes that sample data. And we're going to download one of those data files and import it into MATLAB. So let me navigate to that data file. Okay, and I'm going to choose the auto.csv data file. And we can see a nicely formatted version of what it looks like. And what I want to download is just what's the data behind this or what's the raw file is the word that's used here in GitHub. So here we can see what it looks like. And maybe I could select all of this and copy and paste it. But especially for a huge data file, we wouldn't want to do it that way. We'd want some more robust way of getting access to the data. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back to the raw button, the one I just clicked. But instead of left clicking, I'm going to right click or in my case, control click on it. And I'm going to save the link as auto.csv. Okay, it's good to add the suffix so my computer knows how to work with the file. And let's save it. Okay, you can see I tried this two times before with small failures. Hopefully this time it will work. And let's navigate to this file and see if I downloaded it correctly. So let's open it with a simple text editor. And yep, I can see that it looks right. So that gives me confidence that I didn't accidentally download it as maybe an HTML file or something like that, which is often easy to accidentally do. And CSV, it stands for comma separated values. And what that is indicating is that the different columns in this file in the spreadsheet that it's eventually going to make. They're separated with commas. Another a very common, common type of separation is given by the tab character. So if you see lots of evenly spaced white space, that's a sign that might still be called a CSV file, but that's a sign that it's delimited using the tab character rather than using a comma. So now that I know that I have the right type of file, let's import that into MATLAB. So I'm going to, I can see that it's showed up here. Hey, I was careful to save it in the same folder that I'm currently at inside of MATLAB. So let's import it. And instead of importing everything, let's just import two of these columns. Let's import the horsepower column and let's import the acceleration column. And on my computer, I highlighted these two by holding down the command button while I clicked, clicked each of them. On a Windows computer, I think you can do that by maybe holding down the control button or maybe the alt button. If you want to highlight both of these columns and everything in between, then I think on both a Mac and a PC, you hold down the shift button when you click on the two end columns. So I'm just going to download these. And I could download them as what's called a table. And that's probably good if we want to have access to lots of special features. But since we haven't talked about that data type, the table data type, instead, let's download it or import it as something that's a little easier for us to work with. So let's import it as column vectors. So instead of as a single table, we're going to import it as two separate column vectors. And for the unimportable cells, okay, so for example, it's going to want these to be numbers, but the, the top two here, the first row, 
their strings, so they're not going to be able to be imported. So rather than replacing, let's exclude those whole rows. And let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, so here's something else where it's going to be excluded. And let's import it by clicking on this check mark here. And here I can see that I have these two column vectors. Okay, and I can work with them just like you'd work with any other vector. For example, I can get the fifth entry. Okay, so this one has 10.5 acceleration. I think that probably means it accelerates to some certain amount in 10.5 seconds. That would be my guess. We'd have to go back to the documentation for, for this data file to decide what it actually means. And if I want, instead of the fifth entry, I want the fifth through 15th entries. Okay, I did shift enter, which I wasn't supposed to do because I've been working with Mathematica too much. And if I want it to be a row vector instead of a column vector, I can add an apostrophe here to the end, okay, which is like transpose, if you know that word from linear algebra. Okay, now it's a row vector instead of a column vector. And we're going to work with this data in later videos.